We set this post here a couple weeks ago in a concrete comparison. And I am wondering now, I'm wondering if we can hit the post on the top with a sledgehammer and if we can cause the post to break free from the concrete and we can pull it out of the ground by hand. If that doesn't work, the next step is, can we hit it with a rhino driver to cause the post to break free from the concrete, leaving the concrete in the ground, pulling the post out by hand? I don't know which way this is gonna go. Figured it was gonna be a great experiment. So, to prove that the, that the post is 100% cured in the concrete and is attached, we're gonna try to spin it with a pipe wrench. Which I cannot. Now, if you saw that video, this is the rapid set concrete, and this was the standard concrete. I broke the one on the rapid set. And yes, I can turn that one just a little bit. So we already know that this one would be subject to already failed. But this one's not, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna try and hit just a few times on the top with a sledgehammer. We're gonna hit that a few times, see if we can cause it to break free, and if it doesn't work, we're gonna put the rhino driver on it, see if we can cause that to break free. See if maybe it works. We're gonna try to hit it at the base and see if that will cause the fracture to happen. That didn't work either. We're gonna try the rhino driver next and see if that works. And if it does, that's gonna be awesome. But I don't know. Here we go. I feel like we've been on it for quite a while and I can't stand to beat it anymore. We're gonna put the pipe wrench on it to see if it's broken free from the concrete. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna pull it out with a piece of equipment and see what the concrete looks like. That way we have solid answers. Does this work or does this not work at all? So here we go. Now, I didn't tell you guys why I put the pipe on here. I just needed a little bit more leverage on this topic. Ironically, post is twisting. So it did twist. We got like a quarter of a turn out of it. So it is broken free. So now we have to pull it out of the ground just to see what it looks like. But no, I cannot pull it out of the ground by hand. The thing is pretty well in there. We gonna grab a skid steer and we'll see what happens. So now we'll pull it out of the ground to see if it pulls out of the concrete or if the concrete comes with it. Uh, if it pulls out of the concrete, I would say that our method halfway worked. So let's find out. So that didn't quite turn out the way I was thinking it would. I guess this one's dead in the water. I was kind of really hoping that we'd be able to see something cool, but the whole entire concrete ball came out with the post and the post didn't even try to budge or pull out of the concrete. So I'm definitely gonna say that it did not work. Bummer deal, dude. 
But if you want to see a comparison between fast setting concrete and just standard concrete, make sure and see this video right here. Dan with SWI, you have a great dang day.